Black box can be attached to the outside wall of shops, offices, and homes. Costs 700 bucks. Hackers are making big bucks by taking over hundreds of thousands of computers. Fox 6 News reporter Eric Collins joins us now to explain how they do it and who's paying them. Eric. As to some questionable internet advertising companies are paying a lot of money to anyone who will install their spyware on computers. And hackers are more than willing to cash in simply by exposing the security flaws on millions of computers. <laughs> Ever wonder what's causing all those annoying pop-up ads on your computer? Your PC may have been hijacked by a hacker who installed spyware on your machine. It's logging what keystrokes you type, what websites you go to. Easy access to all of your personal information. Your computer is turned into a, a zombie computer that somebody else is controlling. Sam Norris is an internet security expert and the president of a local company that scours the internet for rogue servers that control hundreds of thousands of slave computers called bots. Here's how hackers can infect your computer. First, they send misleading email to as many addresses as possible. The email contains an attachment that installs a Trojan horse program, which gives the hacker free reign to control your computer remotely. Every user that installs that Trojan horse becomes part of the hacker's botnet, which can encompass thousands of computers. They're making huge bucks. Hackers who install spyware can make up to 40 cents per computer. Cyber advertising companies like Gamma Cash and Zango Cash claim they only hire individuals who get the computer user's consent before they install the spyware. But Sam is apprehensive about this arrangement, and he says some hackers even try to extort money from businesses. They will give you some, a ransom note and say, if you don't pay us $10,000 in the next two days, we will keep attacking your website, take you offline so that you're basically out of business. It's kind of the internet mafia. Exactly. Luckily, you can fight back. Make sure your computer's up to date on security patches. Make sure you've got a good firewall, and make sure you keep it up to date. Here's a few more tips on protecting your computer. First, install antivirus and anti-spyware software on your computer and don't forget to renew it when the software expires. Again, make sure the security patches on your computer are current and make sure your firewall is up. Man, has anybody been prosecuted for taking over computers like this and installing uh, spyware? Late last year, FBI oh, agents arrested a 20-year-old man in Southern California. So, Excellent. And Sam Norris, the man who you just saw in the story there, says he's working with local law enforcement agencies to find hackers right here in San Diego. Justice. Bad guys good. getting 40 cents a pop can add up pretty quick. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric Collins. Appreciate it.